My name is Mary and I work on the product team here at Kenyon. My other job is I work as a stretch and flexibility coach. I've been interested in trigger points for several years, kind of due to my own injuries. I injured my shoulder back in high school, had a lot of chronic pain due to that. And through my own journey of just trying to solve my pain, I discovered trigger points. Essentially a trigger point, it's just a knot. Like when you go to get a massage and the massage therapist finds that spot and just digs into it and kind of helps release that tension there, that's called a trigger point. And there's lots of research that's been done on this where it's fascinating. You can have like a trigger point in your neck or in your traps up here, and it can be the cause of a tension, headache, or a migraine. And so there's these different kind of referred pain patterns that they find in the trigger points. It's not just at the spot, it kind of is this whole area. There's a lot of research that's been shown by putting pressure on these trigger points, these muscles, and kind of having that tension just kind of like relax. It's helping the muscles become a little more pliable. It's kind of breaking up some of the tension in there. It's not a perfect analogy, but if you have a rope and you have a knot in it, you need to untie that knot and then you can kind of stretch it out and it'll be a lot happier. What essentially this does is putting the pressure on that muscle in the fascia. It helps to like break up the connective tissue around, not just like the muscle, but kind of like the tissues around it as well. I would say the first thing to highlight is like it has four little humps. It makes it very stable. So when you put it on your neck, you can kind of rock back and forth on it. It provides a lot of flexibility as you're using it with different body parts. Also the weight of it, it does have a lot of heft to it, which is great. It's nice and stable. It doesn't slide around because you're using your own body weight on it. You can control how much pressure you do. And that's kind of where the, the base helps as well. More pressure, less pressure. To use the Relay Plus, you start off by feeling on yourself like, oh, I got it. Like there's, there's a knot there. And then you place the Relay Plus in a way that the little points on it can effectively dig into that spot. You then put your own body weight on it as pressure. It's a bit of an uncomfortable sensation, but you just kind of like do some deep breathing and it'll help kind of release that thing. You will feel your muscle like this and it's like, I'm not gonna let go, I'm not gonna let go. You do the deep breathing, you will feel the muscle like, whoosh, and then you feel that same spot again. And but there's no little lump anymore. The knot has been released. The key to getting good results with the Release Plus is consistency. That is the biggest thing that is going to help. If you use it every day, you're going to see more results than if you use it once a week. No matter how small, even if you use it for one minute a day, that's going to be greater than doing 30 minutes once a month. The Relief Plus works really well with the Move Plus because the Move Plus targets the joint and the connective tissues around the joint. The Relief Plus targets the trigger points in the muscles. So they work really, really well together. So you sit down for a 20 minute session, you do a couple minutes on the Relief Plus on your hamstrings and your calves, and then you use the Move Plus for the 15 minutes. And you kind of are prepping the area even more effectively by kind of reducing that tension. So when the Move Plus, like you have that session, it can more effectively help heal the joint and the muscles.